Hi, I'm Jacqueline Genovese with the TMC Newsroom. Here are today's top stories on InfoTech. If you think that working out on your Wii Fit is the same as getting a workout at the gym, the New York Times says think again. It turns out that you can burn twice as many calories by just changing where you work out. Many people also think that using the Wii system is a lot safer than using gym equipment, and they're right, for the most part. Although one nine-month study from Ohio State University found that there were a surprising number of injuries from the game console. Looking at records from about 100 hospitals during the study, there were 308 reported injuries that required an emergency room visit. The gym is obviously not entirely safe, but experts say if you follow the rules, you should be fine. Another problem with using Wii Fit to work out is that there is no social interaction. Some users become isolated and don't crave exercising at the gym or outdoors at all. The Times says that this, along with the lack of a good workout, should convince users to switch to jogging rather than relying on the balance board to do the work for them. Have you been missing Firefox on your iPhone? Well, your wait is over. The long-awaited application finally hit the App Store for Apple users who aren't big fans of Safari. The biggest bonus from this release is that the app is totally free. According to Computer World, Firefox can replace Safari on the iPhone even though the new app is not a full web browser. With the addition of Firefox Sync, you can pretty much access the internet and import your browsing history, bookmarks, and even passwords. It also brought over its Awesome Bar, which allows access to Google, being capable of replacing the Apple-approved program. Even though the Sync feature only goes from desktop to iPhone, this app is still a winner. It is available to download now for iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. Employees at Microsoft are tweeting with joy after learning they will be first to receive the new Windows Phone 7, all 90,000 of them. According to Yahoo News, the device is already very impressive for being at this stage of the game. Many are speculating how the phone will work with all the different carriers Microsoft employees use, but their questions will be answered soon enough. An internal email from the company's senior VP, Andy Lees, says that the process will, in fact, vary according to your market, your carrier, and your launch date. Lees also mentioned that there will be more information being released once it gets closer to the official launch date. As of today, there's no official date scheduled, but Microsoft's website said we should expect the phone by holiday 2010. That's it for today. For more information on these stories and more, go to www.tmcnet.com. I'm Jacqueline Genevieve with the TMC Newsroom, and thanks for watching.